All right. What's up, YouTube? So, as you can see by the title, I'm doing a basically a wish list for UFC 5. Now, I don't think there's been an announcement of like, you know, any time or for it to be coming out anytime soon, basically. But you know, it's cool to jump the gun. I feel like I, you know, eventually we're going to be hearing something about that uh, relatively soon. Only reason I get that feeling just because of the uh, the usual time lapse between release dates for UFC games. I think it's like maybe two or three years apart. At least for the most recent ones with UFC 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and I've only played 2, 3, and 4, by the way. Just a heads up. So going into this, you know, maybe I'll say something that's already in the game, been in the games, or maybe they took it out for a reason. I just don't know about it. Um, but regardless, I want to start off with a story mode idea that I had uh, for this game. I feel like that's something that would be really nice to have in a UFC game because it's something that you'll find in... Um, I, I know it's not the same, but uh, there's some crossover between wrestling fans, pro wrestling fans, and uh, MMA fans. There's some crossover there, so I feel like you know having some features from one game would make another game better, essentially, or, or maybe not better, but at least add to the longevity of it by having something else for players to do, um, considering how long we have to wait in between games. So. You know, as you can see here, they did kind of have a story mode. They had cutscenes for your, um, I don't think, I don't think it was for your debut. I know they had a cutscene for your regional title fight when you fight for the title in uh, WFA. They have a cutscene uh, when you're training in the amateur leagues, or multiple cutscenes actually when you're training in the amateur leagues. And then when you finally get to UFC, they have a cutscene for your first title fight, the double title fight, and the retirement fight, as you can see here. This is the retirement fight cutscene. Um, Played this mode a lot, and I was just thinking, like, you know what? Since they kind of, kind of tested out a little bit of a story, even though it's not the focal point. The focal point of this game mainly has been the gameplay. I feel like adding new features now. Now that you have the gameplay set, add some new features for us to enjoy the gameplay with. You know what I mean? Make liven it up a little bit. Not that the gameplay doesn't need to be improved. We can get into that later. But let's talk about the story mode first, since that's going to be pretty much the meat and potatoes of the whole video. So here was my idea, right? I didn't write this down, so you have to bear with me here. I probably shouldn't have wrote it down. But we start off um, with a tutorial. Now, they had a tutorial in this game. Um, not, not the best tutorial in the world. It teaches you how to play, but it doesn't really teach you every single control. And most of the controls you kind of have to learn by yourself. It didn't teach you every combo, but it's a fighting game. you got to come with the combos yourself. So, I mean, I don't think that's, you know, too bad. Um, but I do think it would have been nice if they explained to you how to use clinch controls and how to... Uh, do certain strikes that like may be a bit more difficult to do like you know cage kicks the spinning cage kick which is doable for me the superman punch is doable but i have a hard time doing the showtime kick and i can't do the uh what's the other one the sides superman punch i know there's a cage knee too but that's something i know how to do but yeah you know just having a tutorial to kind of get you through the motions of the game would be nice and i think a good way to do that would be to kind of start off with um, start that off in career mode, a tutorial that kind of leads into that. And instead of playing as a creative character, you play as your coach. So you see, you know, you see his background before, you know, he or she is like training you basically. So we can have them, it could, it could be a female coach, I don't see why not, but regardless, we can have them uh, basically have three fights. The first fight will be like their debut, kind of, you know, them starting out. So it's going to show you, teach you how to throw different combos, you know, how to throw an uppercut, how to throw a straight, how to throw a hook, how to throw body shots, how to throw overhands, how to go for takedowns, how to go for submissions, all in that, or all in that first part, or maybe just focus on striking for the first one, because you know that's what people, most people are going to want to do anyway, and then for the second fight, it'll be a contender fight, getting you ready to fight for um, a championship, and then you can have then you, I guess you can incorporate grappling. Like, oh, it's getting harder now. You know, you gotta be able to grab. You gotta have versatility if you're gonna be an MMA, right? If that's the meta, how it, or that's what the meta is now these days. At least I don't know if it was like that all the time, but you can do that. Um, teach you how to counter submissions, counter takedowns, go for takedowns, etc. Transitioning through the clinch and stuff like that. I think that would be pretty cool for the next fight. And then for the final fight of the tutorial, you fight for a championship, and you don't have to win because you can just kind of cut into the uh, story. Um, basically they can get injured essentially uh, the, the coach but this is where you kind of test out everything you've learned so far in that fight and it's not like you win or lose kind of thing it's scripted for you to lose regardless and the coach's story is gonna or gonna be he or she couldn't win the championship so they're gonna try to um, they're gonna try to 
I guess, build up a, a champion, you know, by training them. Someone to succeed in their place, which could be their backstory, which would be pretty cool. And then we can get into your, your character. You know, you make your character, uh, you have your weight class. And I think a good idea for the story mode, let's not have it be in UFC. Now, hold on, before you freak out, we can have a separate career mode, right? Where it'll be just like how this how it was in UFC 4. Where you, you know, you were declining fights, fighting in the UFC, fighting WFA, maybe you go through uh, the contender series. But in the story mode, you can do um, you can you can just go through the WFA. That'll be the main focus. So they can ease so with that it'll make it easier for them to have a fluid story. They don't have to have, you know, pay a bunch of people a shit ton of money to do voice acting and stuff like that. They can just do something fun here and just specifically focus on the player and them fighting creative fighters, randomly generated fighters. And I think what would be co also cool with that is that your rivals, your opponents, you can pick whatever weight class you decide to pick with your character, right? Whoever you decide to play as. And then the characters that you fight, they'll still have the same model, but their build or their physique will change based on what weight class you choose. I think that'd be pretty cool. So you can still have the same guy or same girl that you fight, uh, who's your main rival or whatever in the story, but they can, you know, be any, in any weight class, which is pretty cool. You can even have like, you know, someone who fights you for the double championship. Um, you know, you know what I mean? I think you guys get what I'm saying. I don't think I have to over explain that one too much. It makes sense. If you have questions, comment them below. But, um, so you have your coach training you and your background, I guess, could be that you were getting, um, you were getting bullied by your rival. Your rival actually had MMA experience. You don't and, um, or you don't in the beginning or whatever the story. And they just kind of make fun of you all the time and they bully bullied you in high school. So you now you decide to train and you're working towards being able to beat them. Now, with this story, um, it doesn't necessarily have to have a script where like, oh, you, you're guaranteed to win in the story. You could have an outcome where you lose, basically. Um, basically, the, the uh, cutscenes that you get will be determined based on how you perform in your fights. If you win the fight or if you lose the fight, you know? And we'll just go like that. And maybe if you don't want to, or uh, maybe it's like, in the same amount of effort i get it but this is just me having a wish list here i think it's okay for me to just spitball these ideas out there but anyways so if you lose the fight maybe it'll be like okay you get a phone call from your parents or you get a phone call from family members or friends or your your spouse and they're like hey um, i don't know if you should be doing this last time you fought you got you know got destroyed and you know it's kind of like showing you never giving up and that could that could be your story instead of you going for a championship but if you're winning all the time your story could be you coming out on top or if you're winning and losing you know what i mean going back and forth then that could be the base story of the game so you can have like secret endings where it's like one where you just like lose a lot one where you you're undefeated and one where you just kind of have this this not the standard ufc or mma career but just like a career that's like that's an ideal career essentially um, where it's like, yeah, I mean, I, well, I guess I deal would be you don't lose at all, but I think you guys, guys get the idea. If it's mixed up with wins and losses, basically, you get the base ending of the uh, story. Uh, we'll get into those endings. Anyways, so you progress through, and maybe you don't have a shit ton of fights in the story mode. You could probably have, I, what's a good amount? I feel like for a story mode, I feel like 20 fights would actually be pretty good. I feel like that'd be pretty good. Um, and not all fights have to have a story behind them, but they can. Each of your opponents can have like a different kind of story. Like you'll have an opponent who comes from your gym. So, you know, maybe they swap gyms to train, get better training somewhere. Maybe you have an opponent who uh, thinks that, oh, the best way to fight is this way. And they only fight a certain way. They only use wrestling or they only use uh, kickboxing or whatever. And you have to like exploit their weaknesses through that. Um, you can have an opponent who's known for being really fast, but they don't necessarily have the power. They're, no, they're more so a volume striker. You know what I mean? You can you can explore all the different types of fighters through the story mode that you come across. With your rival being, um, I think the best thing you could do for the rival, because you want the gameplay to be fun. You don't want to have your rival just spam and take down the whole time and have an annoying fight with them, basically, right? Even though you want it to be challenging, you should have the rival be balanced. You should be good in every area. They should be good in stand up. They should be good on the ground, good in the clinch, um, octagon control, um, you know, shit like that. They just have they just have really good conditioning as well. They, they're basically almost perfect. And you're kind of trying to build your character to be able to beat them. You can have like a skill tree. I would think I think you should keep the skill tree the same as it is in this game, maybe. 
if you want it, since it's a new engine that they're exploring, I feel like if they change something again, you know what I mean? That's just gonna frustrate people who enjoy the series. Let's continue with what we got here versus trying to go back to UFC 2 or UFC 3. Even though I like UFC 2 more than UFC 3 and 4, I feel like since they got this new thing going on with 4, might as well just stick with the controls that they have now, right? The playstyle that they have now. So keep the same skill tree with the 5 star rating uh, build up. I think that'd be fine. Um, you can even have social media involved. Maybe you talk trash on social media as part of the story and you end up getting an opponent who's like really strong, you know, way over leveled compared to you that you have to try to defeat, which would be a really hard fight. Or if you have someone who's talking trash to you all the time, but they never accept the fight until you become champion. And the end game of the story will basically not be your retirement, but it'll, the end game will be you getting uh, into the UFC through the, um, do, through the WFA. And you can use the character that you made in the story mode to transition over into career mode where you're playing UFC. So you already have, you know, stats already set up going into UFC um, career mode, or you can just start fresh in UFC career mode. You know, you can have options like that. I think having different ways to do things is what's going to help out a lot because there's different ways to win fights, which is good. Now let's give us different ways to play out um, career mode or story mode, basically, or different game modes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, pretty much, I think that's pretty much it for mostly for the story, you know. The in-game in is you get into the UFC, your last fight isn't necessarily your rival. Your last fight will be like, maybe you get like, maybe you get a championship fight in your 15th fight and you get five title defenses, and your last fight could be like for a double championship in that company. That could be your last fight, right? And then you get sent to the UFC. You go out on top, basically. Or if you lose a lot, then your last fight will be finally, um winning and gaining momentum your your end goal will be like getting like a three fight win streak or something like that and maybe ufc will notice how good your fights are even though you lose a lot and they draft you like that or if you're just having like a balanced out career i think the balanced out career will be you just having like title defenses or um you know winning your title back maybe maybe you lose it or something like that just have multiple endings you know i'm, I'm spitting all my ideas here this i feel like this sounds really dope i don't know let me know in the comments below i think this shit is cool um maybe it's not maybe you guys think it's fucking stupid anyways I think now we can get into the small things. One of the main things uh, in this game that I found really annoying, um, not being able to pick entrances. That was pretty lame. And maybe they did that for a reason, but hopefully in this game we will be able to. And you can have, you know, different walkouts. You know, maybe I want to walk out like uh, McGregor. Maybe I want to walk out like uh, Adesanya. Maybe I want to walk out like Amanda Nunes, Aljo, you know what I mean? any of these guys you have those you have their uh walkouts but you can also have generic made-up walkouts you know what i mean maybe your walkout is that you come to the octagon on a horse or some shit i don't know you know what i mean like just have fun with it have fun with it it's not gonna affect the fight you know what i mean it's not like i'm gonna bring the horse into the octagon but riding a horse to the to the, the freaking octagon would be sick or a motorbike or some shit something that you would see in like a dirty v game essentially just make it more Give more creative freedom. Everyone likes that. Adding more body types for the females would be pretty sick. Um, making sure you have all the damn divisions in the game. I know the featherweight, women's featherweight division is like hardly anyone in it really, you know what I mean? But you could definitely, you could definitely um, have had some randomly generated fighters like you see me fighting here in the uh, flyweight division. Also the ability in career mode to have, instead of like always going up for title, the, um, the double title, two division championship let's say you're at uh, heavyweight in the men's division you can't go for a double title there's no super heavyweight champ so let's say instead of that they can uh go down and challenge for the light heavyweight championship why not you know ideally you want to go up right but going down doesn't seem like a bad thing you know what i mean and maybe you can go for three titles or four i don't know but let, let us let us be able to do that maybe that hasn't happened but let us be able to do that in the game at least that sounds like a lot of fun it sounds ridiculous though like imagine if you get all the way down from heavyweight to fucking flyweight that'd be insane but it's a game i don't know i mean maybe you, maybe you could limit it if you want to keep it realistic limit it and just have it be three that'd be fine and then you can be triple c um the ability or they have these uh in-game currency and winning 10 fights or completing 10 fights gives you 25 coins. Winning 10 fights gives you 10 coins. Getting 10 submissions, 10 coins. You know what I mean? I feel like they need to up how much you get from doing these objectives. Because it's kind of insane to be maxed out, you know, tier 3 or tier 4, whatever tier I am, and being level fucking 99. And I don't even get fucking packs anymore. And I have nowhere near 
you know, like as many customizations as you would think I would have at this point playing the game without buying any uh, virtual currency. Um, but this game is this game is pretty fun, I think, honestly. I I enjoy playing this uh, this game a lot, but there are just some areas of improvement that I just feel like they need to they need to fix. The um, I think the ground transitions could be more fluid. They're really like see this waiting to deny and then doing that and then wait to deny and do that. You know what I mean? I feel like it could be a lot more fun there to have smoother transitions. I guess it's better that it's slow because imagine how hard it would be to stop someone from transitioning on the ground. Maybe they could just have it be like a quick time event, but then again with lag, how could you stop the quick time event? I guess technically it is a QTE, but you're just using the analog stick. Anyways, maybe just button pressing quick time events. I don't know. I don't know how you would do that mechanically. I don't design games, but it's just like, it could definitely use some improvement. Maybe giving us different options on the ground of um, holding your opponent too. Maybe have him pressed up against the cage and doing the leg triangle that Habib uh, used to do. Um, I know other fighters have done that as well, but that's just like who comes to mind immediately when I say that. Um, maybe being able to choose uh, specific moves when you're creating a character outside of this mode which you could do before like you should be, i think you should be able to pick presets if you want to to um make it easier to create characters but then also have the ability in case you don't want to pick presets to just you know do everything from scratch i think having that option would be nice um What's another thing that I wanted to include in this before I end it? Because I'm getting ready to end it. Basically, I'm going to end it when this fight's over. Um, damn, I can't think off the top of my head. I know interests are cool. Yep. Um, being able to. Oh wow, that scared me. I got a notification on my phone. Yeah, turn that shit off. Silent mode. Anyways, being able to choose different, um, you know, celebrations is really cool. I think that's something they should keep in the game for sure. I feel like certain things being locked behind a pay window is is pretty whack. Like if you want to make make a pay window for hey we added this character to the game or we added this pack of characters to the game now you got to pay uh, like legendary characters like not not active people if someone's active and you add them to the game keep the live um, you know additions to characters in the game I think that's cool like oh Cheeto Bear is in the game now you don't have to pay for him he just comes into the game that's dope but maybe if I want to play as like a legendary fighter or maybe play as someone who isn't in UFC. But, you know, you want to add him, like, maybe you want to get Deontay Wilder in the game. You have to pay to, to get him in the game. Okay, cool. Do a DLC pack of boxers or whatever. I mean, whatever, dude, you know. That'd be kind of clean. But, um, what's another thing they could do? Um, having different game modes would be cool. Like, they have different settings. And they have different game modes, don't get me wrong. I think having, like, you know, a BJJ fight again. I think they had that before. That'd be pretty cool. Um, having the... A kickboxing fight like an actual kickboxing fight maybe you change the octagon to more like how pride used to look that would be clean if they have the pride arena in the game that'd be pretty dope um another thing they could do maybe online having the championships um is cool you know having the gems or whatever that's pretty cool but maybe have it actual like an actual section where you can be ranked or whatever well you you do have a ranking system but have another one where it's like, okay, this weight class has a champion, you know, in, on a certain, um, or within the, within a certain region. And they lose the title if they don't defend it um, at a certain point or whatever. Like, you have to defend it or you get stripped of it. Um, have interim champions or interim champion too, you know, have different ranks to, like, build up to fight a title. You could separate it into, like, small divisions. So, let's say each division will have 15 players. You can leave that division. You can go to another set of 15 players who are playing the game or whatever. I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you have your own ideas, I definitely want to hear them or see them in the comments. But usually I don't really get any responses like that for videos like this. But hopefully you guys um, are enjoying this type of video. Don't normally do this. And I kind of always wanted to. And now finally getting around to it. Just kind of like spitballing so much. I have so much to say, as you can tell. And I'm probably just like, I don't know. Sound like a crazy person as much as I'm talking right now. But I just, I'm just excited, bro. Like... Honestly, when I got this game, it it, uh, it looked like complete garbage, uh, UFC 4. It did. And I was like, damn, I spent $60 on this. But it really turned it around. It, it looks a lot better than it did when I got it. And it's a lot more fun to play now than it was when I initially got it. Um, what's another thing they could do, though? Um, maybe... Oh, this is something I was thinking about the other day. Okay, okay, okay. So, 
I made this video already. This is another thing I was thinking they could do. They have vanity gear, right? So you, as you can see here on display, they're wearing the vanity gear. Now you can override it, you can wear custom gear. I think it would be cool if UFC fighters, um, you know, made their own vanity or overridden vanity gear, or how do you say it, own custom gear that you could see um, if you override the vanity gear. So let's say you have your custom gear for your character, then you're fighting um, Amanda Nunes and she has custom gear. Maybe she's dressed like Santa Claus or some shit. You know what I mean? Or Izzy's dressed as a ninja for some reason. Or, you know, a, Shino, um, a character from Naruto or whatever. Or maybe you're fighting um, Kamaru Usman and then Kamaru Usman's character, he has hair or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, that would be kind of cool to do that. And it doesn't change the fight style, it just changes their appearance. That'd be cool. And maybe they have a mode where, like, the fighting style changes or whatever. And you have power-ups and shit. I don't know. I just, honestly, having the base game, where it's UFC, and then having these other features where you can just kind of explore and have fun with, I think would really, really add to the audience that you pull in. You pull in the hardcore UFC fans, you pull in the casual gamers, which is, I feel like, something we're trying to do by changing the controls and making it easier to do, or moves to do and stuff like that. We're trying to pull in casual gamers. So there you go, you add, you add things to the game that isn't, you know, doesn't lock you into just doing just UFC. Maybe no one wants to do it. Maybe you just want to play like a fighting game and you think this is cool. You know what I mean? Just give them, give options, but don't. Here's the thing that a lot of developers make a mistake with. I feel like they'll add new things, but they'll take away old things that people like. And hopefully EA with the next game, they don't take away things that people like and they add new things in or add old features back into the game. But I think that's, I think that's it. I think that's everything that I wanted to cover. I oh oh wait for for freaking career mode. By the way, the freaking fight of the night bonuses and performance bonuses. You got to put some criteria. I feel like that'd be really cool. Like hey, um, so the so far the fight of the night, uh, they had this many knockdowns and that's why I got fight of the night. Or they had um, they the fight lasted this long and that's why he got performance of the night. You know what I mean? So if you want to get performance of the night. You got to top that by winning the fight in this amount of time. You know what I mean? Just give us objectives like that. And don't necessarily force us to do it. Just kind of have it off to the side. Oh, hey, you got the performance because you did this. You know what I mean? Just instead of just like robbing us and just like randomly giving it to us. You know what I mean? I think that'd be pretty cool. But other than that, I think that's it. See y'all later.